the Blue Blazer. Geeks was popping. All Elite Wrestling, AW Luminaries Collection, King of Hearts, Owen Hart. This is a ringside collectibles exclusive, so you don't need the barcode. All right, so he comes at alternate head, some sunglasses, and a championship belt. I think that's a Stampede Wrestling belt, if I'm not mistaken. All right, while well, I sit here and try and figure out what belt it is, let's take a moment to bask in all of his non-WWE glory. Jazz wears, you gotta start shipping these guys in plastic so the dye from the clothes does not stain the actual figure. Come on, you haven't learned that by now? The head sculpt that it ships with, I'm not sure it really says Owen. Now from this angle, yeah, a little bit more. Now this head sculpt with the bandana, it says Owen more, which is weird, because you would think they made these at the same time and they'd be the same exact head sculpt, but you can clearly see they are not the same head sculpt, which is odd. Close up of the belt. I looked at the Stampede Wrestling belts and a lot of them have this same basic design, just different plates, so I think it is a Stampede belt. Jacket is hot, even though it doesn't have any pink in it. I think the body type is just about nailed. He was never like swelled around the waist. Always did have some chest to him. It looks like Jazzware is using some of the older parts from Unrivaled like series two and three as opposed to some of the newer sculpts. So I don't know when this was designed or why they're using the older parts. It looks kind of generic. All right, you get a 360 on that head. Slight tilt left, slight tilt right. Looking down. Up. Arms get up crazy high. No butterfly joints, but he doesn't need them because the wingspan is sick. Hug range is good, good. 360 at the arm. The die stained arms. 360 at the bicep. Nothing at the forearm. 360 at the wrist. Vertical wrist on the hinges give you a repulsive blast and kiss the ring real easy. Upper torso rocker gives you a crunch. You can add the waist in for more. Going back without the waist. With the waist, lean with it, rock with it, roll all the way around, nice and stiff up here, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. okay, no 360 up there, no 360 at the waist, really, huh, that's disappointing, 360 at the thigh cut, 360 at the calf cut, 360 at the, at the ankle. Bend over is real. Boot to the face. Leapfrog. Man damage. Double jointed pin knees. He's in range. He's not kicking his butt. Prancer. Not really a dancer. Feet do rock with you. Comes in at six and a quarter inches tall. Comes in at six and a quarter inches tall. Here he is with Supreme Collection Cody, and I think it was series three of John Moxley. Or two, could be wrong. All right, seen enough, ready to rent my verdict. Yo! Getting all the fans entertained. Listen! Running in the game. Listen! He is not a bad figure. Pretty dope, actually. This head sculpt I think is way better than the one it ships with that can fit the glasses. I like the fact that it comes with a belt that you probably won't get anywhere else. Outfit looks nice. I don't like the fact that they didn't put plastic on it so he didn't get stains. Looks like they did use some older body parts. I wish they'd use some updated stuff. I think this should have been part of the Supreme Collection. Maybe they're not doing those as exclusives, but it's a pretty good figure. 
and it's gonna fit into your collection. Now, it'll be strange putting him on my AEW shelf because he never wrestled in AEW. So I don't know, maybe I'll stick him on a WWE shelf. Who knows? Well, let me know what you think in the comments. Sound off, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. The comment section is always open, it's never closed. All right, make sure to share a link with another friend that loves the plastic wrestlers like we do. Till next time, geek out.